just walk. <laughs> Talk about awareness, though. Michael Clark knew that he charged out, backing up, and was an inch off getting it right. This is high, but there's a man there. He hasn't got enough on it. Maxwell got him. Survives the run out, but not the catch. He doesn't drop yeah. these, the big show. In fact, he wants the ball to come to him. Let's now, have a look at what's going on here, Tom. Yeah, I, I think what Morgan is doing, he's saying count the number of men outside the circle. That's why he's played the shot. He thinks that Michael Clark and the Australians had too many men outside the circle. Now, I think what the umpires might do here is ask the third umpire to check. Bear in mind they're only allowed to have four men out, not five. Jeez, that's great game awareness. You want to make sure you got it right. Well, that's in the face of me, isn't it? I just said the awareness of the skipper trying to knock it back to the stumps, and maybe there was an extra man out in the deep. And uh, that has probably just been it. one of the fieldsmen not coming in when they should have done. Oh, that's beautifully struck. He wanted to go at six. He wanted to go early, Owen Morgan. He hung in there, waited, and then went through with the shot beautifully. a little shimmy down the track you sort of got the feeling you know England were happy just taking their ones but where were they going to find a boundary and, and Morgan took the initiative there and that's going to go for four good result caught a bit of the glove maybe thigh pad doesn't matter it is glove four runs the result Morgan backs away goes up and over the offside and now the race is on he's going to find the rope Paul Faulkner Timed beautifully. The man at long off, plenty to do. Morgan picks up two as well as his 50. Yeah, good innings. Back to back 50s, and that stroke is an excellent illustration of Owen Morgan's skill because he, plenty of time for him. And he helps himself to a six. That is the shot of the innings. If you can hit Mitchell Johnson over extra cover of the six at the top of the ball's bounce, you can play. I love watching this guy play teammate of mine for KKR and I've seen that many times in the IPL in India. He just does it so easy. Beautiful time of the ball and such a great eye. Spot on there. If you hit Mitchell Johnson for six out of his head, it's pretty decent. Oh, it's hit. It's high. Is it long enough? Yes, it is. It's dressing up on the English side of things. It'll come back as Batman. Six in the last two overs for England. Exactly what they need. Slower ball, the previous ball. That one was the, the normal pace. I think it attempted Yorker. Oh, it nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Used his feet, got it where he wanted. See you later. He's been four sixes so far, and he's on a charge now, Morgan. Quality player. Got a half century, a couple of nights ago, he's doing it again at the Gabba. And this is exactly England's tactics. Set the platform early in the innings, and then look to catch up and be very, very aggressive towards the back end of the innings. Australia go about it slightly differently. And the roar of the crowd, first weekend. Down. The very next ball slot for Morgan and flew away. That is an outstanding strike for his country. And that's another six. That is another six. He's racing to 100. All of a sudden, the runs are being piled on. Morgan, what a show! Yeah, sixes and all the last four overs, including that, that last ball. So hitting them nicely, staying reasonably still. They're just waiting for the right ball. Got a full toss there, helped on its way. Really good batting. It's clean striking. It's also good batting. It's just amazing how quickly you can catch up the runs. Morgan was 50 off about 77 balls. He's now he's better than a runner ball. And the pressure's on the bowling. 
The pressure's on the bowling, and the pressure is allowing England to get going. Australian bowling just faltering at the death. 96 he is. That is a massive hit. That is the biggest boundary on this ground. He's cleared Fitch easily. And he get the two. He's looking for something. Oh, how clever is that? Awesome innings from the Irishman. Sure to be sure. Take a bow, Morgan. That is a sensational innings. Steadied the ship early, built a partnership, and it's just gone absolutely nuts back into the innings. It's in, he'll just get that ball working around as he did today, as he did at the MCG. The difference is he's gone on with it, and uh, is it a match-winning innings? Quite possibly could be the case. He's doing their brave work. And this should be out as well, and he's... So Morgan, the startling innings comes to an end in the 50th over. Five balls remaining and Faulkner the bowler. Oh, what a superb innings. Nolan Moore, that's really well bowled. It was a slow ball. It's one of the few he hasn't hit the middle for about the last two hours. And then he chips it. Comfortable catch to Michael Clark. But that's a brilliant hunt for Morgan. 106 off, 99 balls, four fours and six sixes in that. Yeah, fantastic innings there from Morgan. He's got his team into a, a good position in this match. Warmly appreciated by this crowd at the Gabba. His low full tosses can sometimes be hard to hit at the end of the innings.